book is called Raccoon Wakes Up. Paula Predictor is looking at the cover and she is going to predict that Raccoon was asleep in a tree and that he wakes up. She thinks it looks like it's cold outside, probably winter time, because there's snow all over the tree. It looks like there's snow in the background. Maybe she's thinking that when he wakes up, he's hungry and he's looking for something to eat. Let's do a picture walk and see if Paula's prediction comes true. Raccoon wakes up. Ooh, it definitely is snowing and there he is up in the tree. I wonder if he's asleep in this picture. Oh, now it looks like the sun's coming out a little bit and it looks like he's awake. Ooh, now it's nighttime. Ah, she thinks her prediction may have come true. It looks like maybe he is finding something to eat. Maybe he's hungry and he found a worm. Ooh, maybe a fish. <clears throat> oh, it looks like he jumped right into the river. Okay, so you are going to read the book. You are looking at the pictures, pointing under the words, and really thinking about what makes sense, what makes sense with how the words look, and what makes sense with how the story sounds. So please pause the video and practice reading to yourself, and then come back and we will read together. Welcome back. Let's read Raccoon Wakes Up Together. Please point under the words in your book and read along with me. Raccoon wakes up. Look at the snow. Raccoon is up in the tree. Raccoon is asleep in the tree. Here comes the sun. The sun is on the snow. Raccoon wakes up. Look at the moon. Here comes Raccoon. Raccoon is hungry. Here is a worm. Raccoon comes to a river. A fish is in the river. Here comes Raccoon. Raccoon is in the river too. Look at Raccoon. So if you were going to summarize the story with Sammy Summarizer, can you talk about the characters in the setting and the most important events in the story? So let's do a turn and tell and help Sammy Summarizer retell the story. Raccoon wakes up. So the story is about a raccoon who lives in a tree and the setting takes place in the winter time when it is very cold and snowy outside. In the beginning of the story, Raccoon is asleep, but then he wakes up and he comes out of the tree at night to look for food because he's hungry. He finds a worm, but he's still hungry. And then he finds a fish in the river and he catches the fish and eats it. Now Quincy Questioner is going to ask a couple questions. Do you think that the raccoon is still hungry? What do you think he's going to do next? Why does raccoon get up and look for food at night? Did you know that raccoons are nocturnal? Nocturnal animals are actually active at night. So raccoon likes to sleep in the day and wake up at night. 
All right, let's read the book several more times, practicing reading for fluency. Nice job.